Joe out of the Joe family. Family, welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you for clicking that button. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. If you are fucking with me, I am fucking with you. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. We ain't going nowhere. We only getting bigger, better, stronger, faster, smarter, more clever, all that, man. And I hope you are staying safe. But today, I'm going to give you my top five favorite rappers of all time. And it isn't going to be in no specific specific order. And I'm going to give you three things about each rapper that I like, that I can relate to, that makes me want to tune into the music every time they drop something. All right? So don't blink and stay tuned. Woo! Number one. Now, this ain't in no specific order, but we got 50 Cent. I'ma let the champagne bottle pop. I'ma take it to the top. Show, I'ma make it high, baby. Uh, mm, Fifty Cent, Mr. Get Rich or Die Trying himself. Fifty Cent was one of the first rappers that, that I honestly really believed I was a hood nigga. Like, even though I'm not, you know, country country kid, but like his music, I'm talking like when Fifty came out, I was like in elementary school. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think 50 Cent CD was like one of the first CDs that I actually begged my parents to get for me. Even though I don't think I got it. But, it's all it's all good. But here are some of the top three reasons why I like 50 Cent. Number one is his hustle. I mean, he made a movie called to Get Rich or Die Trying. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about his hustle from the bottom all the way to the to the top. I mean, he got shot nine times. Came back and was like, what's up, bitch? I'm here. Blah. Like, got shot nine times. Went diamond, went gold. Businessman and all that. Killing killing the game. Number two, the nigga's just dirty. I mean, he's from New York. You know what I'm saying? He's from, like, if you watch the movie, he's from the slums of New York. Like, when he moved out of his uh, grandparents' basement because his mom died, moved into this nasty ass uh, apartment or whatever it was called, how he turned that into a million dollar business. Like it's crazy how, how he was selling drugs, then he got into rapping, and then shit just took off from there, man. And, and I like stories like that. Like stories that motivate you, stories that are true. So shout out 5050 for that. And um, I also like his grit, you know what I'm saying, how dirty he is, how how he just, and also how he just honest, you know what I'm saying, and 50 Cent is always in the goddamn beef, from Ja Rule, Irv Gotti, to goddamn, um, who was he just in it, Fresh Montana, Rick Ross, like this 50 Cent is always in the beef and he does not back down, now he may start some of them. Because, I mean, he is from New York and it is 50. Also, that is how he really blew up because he came at a bunch of artists at, on one song. He came he came at them all. And that, honestly, that was trolling before trolling was a thing. He called everybody out on the song. He wasn't known. He got everybody's attention. And then he dropped music. And it was hot. And then took off. Crazy. 50 Cent was ahead of his time, man. He was ahead of the game. Now that I think, think about it, 50 was trolling before trolling was trolling. Damn. Shout out. Shout out 50, 50 Cent, man. But that's the top three things that I like about 50, 50 Cent, man. His hustle, his dirtiness, and his grit. You know what I'm saying? And how he's always in the beef, dominant, and all that. And he's rich as shit. Businessman had vitamin water. And if you haven't seen his HBO series, which, um, I don't know, Power. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I've seen, like, two or three episodes of Power. You know, it is a good one. I haven't I haven't seen the full season combined, but I am. One day, me and my girl are gonna binge, binge watch it and see what it's about. You heard? But number one comes 50 Cent, man. Stay tuned for number two. Uh, you got me feeling like the greatest. Uh, bitch, I'm about to blow up. You guessed it. Number two, J. Cole, Fayetteville, Carolina's own. Woo! 
two six, nigga. Shout out, shout out, Cole, man. Cole is probably this millennium. One of my top, probably my favorite rappers. I started listening to J. Cole. It's 2020. I started, I first listened to J. Cole 2010, I believe. 2010 or 2011 when he just dropped Friday Night Lights. I didn't even know he was from Fayetteville. Um, honestly, the reason why I listened to it, I started to listen to it was because the album cover was so good. And it, it, it drew me in and it made me click to it. And ever since since then, I've been hooked. Shout out my right hand man Tank. He on that J Cole vibe too. I'm gonna bring him to the channel as well. We are gonna do a review the next time Cole drops some music, man. But who know when that is? So hopefully he drop an album. And if you haven't heard, the Dreamville Festival is canceled because of this COVID nineteen shit, which fucked up the whole 2020. But number one, why I like J Cole? Number one reason he's relatable. You know what I mean? He went to college, like suburban kid. You know what I'm saying? He's not a hood nigga. He doesn't talk about a whole bunch of guns, shooting, selling drugs. He talk about real stuff, real sh everyday day, day life. And for me, the how I really draw, like how I'm really drawn to a rapper or a performer, or a performer is how relatable they are. Uh, are they saying things that relate to my everyday life? I mean, I've been listening to J. Cole for 10 years now. Like, I feel like I personally know the nigga. You, you know what I'm saying? So, for, for for number one, he's relatable. Number two, he's clever, man. How this is how J. Cole be putting words together. I was listening to a song today. I forgot what it's called. But he was like, I'm hot, dog. Catch up to me, nigga. I'm hot, dog. Catch up to me, nigga. Like, how clever can you be to think, to put words like that together, man? Like, that's just fucking out, out of this world. So, cra crazy. Number three, how smart the motherfucker is, man. You know, he did he did go to St. St. John's, which, which is a prep school in New York. And I liked how he used school to get to, to New York to get signed to Hove. And if you did not know, some trivia for the ass, J. Cole was the first ever artist signed to Hove's Rock Nation, which is fucking crazy. Nigga from 26 Fayetteville is signed to hold the first ever first ever artist. Ridiculous, man. And also, if you if you haven't, a historic place in Fayetteville, North Carolina, is two is uh 2014 Forest Hills Drive. People go up to it, take pictures by the by the fence, sign the fence. So if you haven't done that, I would highly suggest you go to 2014. Force Hill Drive, but be careful because there is patrol <laughs> cars roaming around 24-7. So, but J. Cole comes in at number two. Number three. Three, three, three. We got Kanye West. Yes, I did. back to the Mr. Ye himself, man. I've been listening to Kanye ever since Jesus Walk stepped on the motherfucking scene. When he was rocking backpacks and polos, you heard? With them damn ugly ass shades. I had, to, I had a pair of those just to be cool. But the three reasons why I like Kanye West, number one, is his creativity. How he just came in the game. He was originally a producer signed to Rock Nation. Um, but when he, when he came to Rock Nation to try to rap, I heard that, uh, they all laughed at him. Ho didn't want him to rap at all. He just told him to strictly stick to beats. But Kanye was like, you know what? Nah, I'm not having that. I'm a rapper too. And y'all gonna listen to what I have to say. So he started rapping and obviously it worked out for him. I mean, he's living in Calabasas with Kim Kardashian. Got a gazillion rich kids running around. Living life. So number one, his creativity, man. You cannot like that. Number two, he's a musical genius, man. Like Kanye is just a genius. How he can flip something, like how he make church church songs, but make them trappy, and make them trending. Like that's that's crazy to me. Like you got to be on a whole different level to to think of a church song, but make it trappy and make it. So people can relate to it. 
Like it's it's just you you just you just gotta tip your hat to Kanye, man, for real. And number three, his re he is revolutionary. Revolutionary. There would never be nobody like like Kanye again. I mean, how do you go from being under hold, from making beats, making beats, nobody believing in you rapping, to saying, you know what, I believe in myself, becoming a rapper, start rapping, taking off, kind of in a way, past hold. I'm just saying, not right. You know, like when 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 Kanye was his hottest, Kanye was that man. I mean, Kanye was selling easily 600k first first week back when it wasn't a streaming era. When you had to buy physical copies. And if you haven't listened to Watch the Throne, I would highly suggest you listen to that. Because that is a mother classic, man. So number three comes in with Kanye. Oh, oh, oh. It is Kevin Gates. Hey. Dealing with heartbreak. That I may affiliate with heartbreak. With they never I've been dealing with heartbreak. Because they're not my dealing people. Dealing with heartache. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Swear to God. Look in the mirror, what do you see? I see someone dealing with heartbreak. When I love a nigga, my heart ache. I know how a Cuban cigar tastes. Number four comes in, Kevin Gates. Mr. Eat Your Body. Eat Your Body himself, man. Gates, yes. I started listening to Kevin Gates probably about six, yeah, probably about six to five years ago. One thing that, um, that, Attracted my ear to Kevin to Kevin Gates besides the fact that when he was trending about him talking about eating booty You know, that's one thing <laughs> And how he said it on that breakfast club interview if you have not listened to that go listen to that man I think that was back in like 2013, but one thing about Kevin Gates is he is number one is he is brutally honest Like his honesty is like it's crazy. He don't care if he look in your face hurt your feelings He gonna tell you you know, and he ain't gonna give two fucks about it. That's why I, that's why I fucks with Kevin, with Kevin Gates and his music, man. He is brutally honest, and I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? Number two, why I mess with Kevin, Kevin Gates is he's he nasty. How he be talking on tracks, man. I'ma eat your booty. I'ma do all this to your female and all that. Like, that shit crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I'm nasty too. I mean, I ain't gonna say I be doing all that eating your booty and all and all that stuff. Now that's the that's just taking it way in the left field, but you know what I'm saying? Your boy is a little nasty too, and the females like that. If you if you do not know, Kevin Gates got an extremely large female base, extremely large. Now I ain't saying what he did to that one female when he kicked her in the damn chest. That was kind of kind of crazy. He went to jail and all and all that, but I mean you know it is what it is. He's he's out now. He is you know on the right the right the right track. Brad Renner, man, number. Three is how much of a leader he is, man. How he took breadwinner. How I said I seen an interview where he said it was just uh, imagination. Him and Drake, imagination. He didn't have no money. He was broke, and he built an empire. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now he got artists signed to him. He got his whole bread breadwinner established. You know what I'm saying? He got everything established, man. And I respect that. For real, Gates. For me to you respect, homie. So when Gates come in at number four, and number five is a toss up. So stay tuned for number five. five. It's a toss up. So number so it's a split between Rick Ross and Drake. And I'm gonna uh, explain to you why I like the three the three things that I like about both Rick Ross and Drake. But first, this hit something for Ross, man. Like, I took my roof off at the red line. Trap, 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 trap. Uh, uh, big boss. Shout out Rick Ross, man. The reason why I got a beard today, representing for all the big, hefty niggas. You heard? Uh, M MMG, man. Back in 2011, I specifically remember when Ross, Meek Mill, Wale, when they, when MMG was killing the game, I used to always be glued to their YouTube channel because they always showed their lifestyle. They always showed they always showed them being on yachts, being on tours, women, money, flexing, flossing, you know, and that like it expired me, man. Back when 2011, man. So I salute Ross and the MMG game. I do hope that they are still. Together because them self-made tapes were classics. So one of the reasons why I like Ross, like I said, because he a boss. Big boss Ricky Ross. I mean, putting Wale on, 
Meek Mill on, and they both legendary, classic, top ten artists in the in the game in the game now. And you know how Rick Watt, how he's a heavy hitter. Not only is he a boss, he could rap his ass off too. I mean, I don't think Rick Ross missed sonically or musically with the album in years. Everyone that came out since two two since honestly 2011, I like and I was a fan of. So shout out Ross, Ross, Ross for that. And how he's a businessman. Wing stop. My first time going to Wing stop, I ain't never forget. Me and my girl, we was going to this um to this painting sip in Charlotte. Cause one of her favorite artists, her painter, she was she was having a little event, painting sip, cool and what and whatnot. We went to the painting sip. I was fucked up, by the way. The day after when we was coming back. We stopped to Wingstop. That was one of the first times I went to Wingstop. And now it's hands down creeping to one of my top five favorite restaurants of all time, man. So, shout out Rick Ross. Shout out Wingstop. Your business ventures, man, do not go unnoticed. And I see you with checkers, man. I do eat checkers now and then. I mean, it really ain't healthy for you. But, I mean, at the end of the day, who gives a fuck? It's 2020. You know what I'm saying? We got the coronavirus. Per, you know, pandemic going on, man. So, you know, so you just got to, some, sometimes you got to eat fast food. It is what it is. But, you heard? So, so like I said, it's a toss-up between five 